Some of us feel we don't fit the traditional mold. For various reasons, we don't feel accepted or acceptable. If you feel that the beacon of your testimony is sputtering and darkness is closing in, take courage. Keep your promises to God. Ask your questions. Patiently melt stone to glass. Turn to Jesus Christ who loves you still. Jesus said, I am the light that shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehendeth it not. That means no matter how hard it tries, the darkness cannot put out that light ever. You can trust that, that His light will be there for you. We or people that we love may temporarily go dark. It's hard to get the lights on back by yourself. We need friends. We need each other. Seeing darkness where I expected to see light reminded me that one of the fundamental needs we have in order to grow is to stay connected to the source of light, Jesus Christ. He's the source of our power, the light and the life of the world. Without a strong connection to Him, we begin to spiritually die. Knowing that, Satan tries to exploit the worldly pressures that we all face. He works to dim our light, short-circuit the connection, cut off the power supply, leaving us alone in the dark. These pressures are common conditions in mortality, but Satan works very hard to isolate us and tell us we're the only ones experiencing them. Some of us are paralyzed with grief. When tragedies overtake us, when life hurts so much that we can't breathe, when we've taken a beating like the man on the road to Jericho and been left for dead, Jesus comes along. He pours oil in our wounds. He lifts us tenderly up. He takes us to an end. He looks after us. To those of us in grief, He says, I will ease the burdens which are put upon your shoulders, that even you cannot feel them upon your backs, that ye may know of a surety that I, the Lord God, do visit my people in their afflictions. Christ heals wounds. When expectations overwhelm us, we can step back and ask Heavenly Father what to let go of. Part of our life experience is knowing what not to do. But even so, sometimes life can be exhausting. Jesus assures us, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. I testify you are beloved. The Lord knows how hard you are trying. You are making progress. Keep going. He sees all your hidden sacrifices and counts them to your good and the good of those you love. Your work is not in vain. You are not alone. His very name, Emmanuel, means God with us. He is surely with you. Take a few more steps on the covenant path, even if it's too dark to see very far. The lights will come back on. I testify of the truth in Jesus' words, and they are filled with light. Draw near unto me, and I will draw near unto you. Seek me diligently, and you shall find me. Ask, and you shall receive. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.